Hello, and welcome to my uh, new Let's Play. Right, this won't take me long, because I've been through this a couple of times before, and this is... Okey-dokey, start from scratch. Wow. Okey doke. First things first, we need We need a field. I don't want to wander too far from the shop if I'm honest. I've got to be careful. I don't need a massive field. In. Let's see if there's anything. Right. Too expensive. Okay, this is interesting because it's still got all the concrete. It's interesting because I could make that work. It's way too expensive. It would be a brilliant spot. There's a lot of spare land, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there's the shop. Let's have a look. It's way too expensive. It's way too expensive. Quite a way away. Well, twenty-three. Still think forty represents the best value for money to start with, and also is closer to the shop. So let's commit. This is this is quite challenging though. I've got um let's have a look what is in that field already for e is Let's kind of have a look. <laughs> it's a stone throw away. It would be a more potatoes. Okay. I could roll with that. Let's just check potato equipment out. Well, I am going to have to go for something because this is going to be an absolute um, blast. Let's have a look what the economic difficulty is. Let's just check the settings. Let's be clever first. I might go slightly easy on myself. Rose Miles, Field Info. I'm not going to make it any difficult to, on myself than normal. I'm going to put. I'm not going to be on hard. I'm going to stick it on normal. Seasonal growth, yes. Change that to. Two, ooh, no. Two days. Fixed visual, no. 
Crop destruction, no. Field stone. I'm going to switch field stone off to begin with. I'm going to ease into that. Uh, they're all off. Brilliance. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we're going to go normal. I'm not going to make it too nasty on myself um, ec economy wise. So now I need to buy some equipment and we are oh, very, got to be very careful. Alright, so okay, so we've been. Let's have a look what type of. Yeah, that's the big machines. We want the little ones. I'm sure there's a small tater harvester. Okay. Now I wonder whether to lease this to begin with. How much would leasing it cost? Hmm. Well, not, we don't actually need to plant them now. We've actually got them. So this year, I suppose we've dodged a bullet. Definitely need a topper. And hmm, harvester as well. Again, I think we might hop back to um, lease that. If I'm honest. So no differences are really in that. Which would lease in that be? Ten grand, wow. We don't need to buy that just yet. We definitely need a that's that's look at how much horsepower we're gonna need. Right, two hundred horsepower, so we need a fairly meter tra meaty tractor. Okay, that's interesting. I think there's some decent older ones, 190 horsepower, so they would pull that even though it's not. Let's stick with potatoes then. Right, so I'm going to need, first things first, we need... Oh, I've got to get used to the new... Let's have a lot of medium tractors. I think we will stick to what? The Valtra, I think that is the one that's slightly more... Look at the older Massey Ferguson. What does that go up to? No, it is just under 170 or so. That's slightly under then. John Deere, 175. Oh. Hmm. It's too expensive. That's 190. As is that. Ah, that's slower though. So let's go for the Valtra. Before we do that, let's have a look if anything's on special offer. Oh, I'd love that. What is that? Is that the... It's the fertilizer spreader. Now that is good value. It's just, but again, it's ten grand. I'm going to go for that. Will, yes. I would go for that, but I can't afford it. It's it's a cracking price, but I can't afford. Right. Medium tractors, let's buy our tractor. This is the biggest chunk of money gone straight away. Balmut. Mm, do we need a front ladder attacher? We'll get them if we do. Standard. Narrow tyres. Actually, they look quite nice on that. Yeah, we will do. This is going to have to be everything, so... Ladder attacher, main colour... Main colour we should stick, licence plate... Okie dokie then. It's gonna a lot of money, but let's go for it. That's our tractor. So I've got a tractor fertilizer. What else? 
else do we need? Okay, now then, we need some fertilizer. Now, I've already had a little bit of a look at this. Okay, so then. Pallets, I think, is the cheapest. It's slightly smaller, but there's not much in it, if I'm honest. Wow. Okay, so crop types, growth. Oh, wow. When the really deep green stage, so actually they need to fertilize. Ah, oh, and weed. What state is the weeds in? Okay, in that case, we do need to buy. Let's go for sprayer. This should have, no, oh no, it was, it was a good offer, it was a good price, so I'm going to go for the small one and I'm not going to go for the tank just yet. Uh, license plate. Bye. side mm. try be in the right way it always helps <laughs> It's like <laughs> seriously. Oh my life. Wow, it's a long time since I've only had one. One tractor. A very long time. Leave that here. Don't need any. Oh, we do need to repair, of course. Second that. Oh, of course. No, it's the yes. My bad. I'd forgotten. Whoa. I'm so used to having vehicle tabbing. It's just going to take some getting used to. Right. Uh, why repair? Any paint? No way. Okay. Right. Let's get off to our very makeshift farm. Right, we can at least we can get this crop something like. Let's knock time down a little bit. Not set any rules. I'm not not being that uh, cruel presently. This is a learning curve, so yeah. And it start from scratch. Normal economy. Not my usual settings, but then this is a new game. Yeah. A real learning curve. So actually this is one of the actual proper fields that you do start with. Right. Okie dokie. Let's 
let's have a little bit of a Taz. Do you know? Yeah, now let's do this manually. Hello, this is my second attempt at this recording because I realised when I was as I was recording, I was doing some spoilers. This is uh, my when I first started this. Uh, it was literally the day of release for Farm Simulator 22, and all, they've fi fixed a lot of bugs already. But there are still an awful lot of bugs. Uh, costs are expensive because it's base game equipment, and to do a start from scratch is absolutely insane. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's a challenge, and I've lived with it. I've got through the first year. <laughs> I've not done terribly badly, but I realised as I was recording the first, uh, my addendum to the rules of engagement due to my so recording software crashing and burning uh, the first time I tried to record, I'm using my um, debut by NCH and it's it's very stable, it's working fine, so uh, there's a couple of learning curves I've had to do with this software, but basically I'm really happy with the way we've done, but I realised I was actually ruining things for a year on because this is literally year two so if i show things now what we've got all that type of stuff really i'm taking you to the end of the videos that we've done so far which is a little bit stupid now you can see my balance there 61894 and um, we so i didn't realize this obviously start from scratch it is completely different and it is more of a challenge than it ever was before because you have 500,000 like you used to before but you have 200,000 of that as a bank loan, which was rather challenging. I am actually down to 60 odd, nearly just under 70,000. So I've actually got rid of 130,000 bank loan already by the um, start of year two. Uh, we're in April, year two. Uh, I've planted my, sec my crop for this year. It's only single harvest on these, so it's, it's tough. It's, it really is tough. I would normally go the grass route, but the BGA is a mil and a half, so there's not really much I can do on that side. So I'm literally the same as everyone else. And I thought, well, I'm up for the challenge. I own one field, which you can see on the minimap, field 40, which is part, part of the original um, farm layout. There's three fields, and I've just got that one. It is the smallest of the three. It is it's definitely a challenge, but I'm doing all right. I've been surviving. I've got done contracts. Uh, this was just an addendum to the um, literally my starting lineup, which I showed, and all the, also the character creation I showed right back in the beginning. It was just literally a word from me, an introduction to myself, um, to try to make this a little bit more human and engage um, literally um, those who hopefully will become subscribers or those who are just viewing anyway and passing by uh, to try to engage people a little bit more. Because so far I'm just a just a video on YouTube, and I truthfully would like to engage with my audience far better than that so obviously because of the fact that bank loans are an integral part of start from scratch on this I have got to allow bank loans or else start from scratch would not be valid so I am going to continue in that vein I will obviously still continue to have bank loans which I think you need in this costs are high I've got a couple of settings let me show you my settings. That is one thing that is uh, definitely useful for me to show you. We only need to show you this screen because last time I showed you both. Right, uh, I am on normal economic difficulty, which is actually hard, harder than hard in the old game, if I'm honest. There's so many costs uh, and things that are dearer than they used to it. I've got seasons on, but I've got it down to one day per month due to the fact I have no sleep trigger. I can't afford a sleep trigger. And going through the night at 120 speed is not very kind if you're doing a two day season so I've got a one day season for now until I can afford a sleep trigger or a mod comes out that I can afford a caravan, a tent, whatever which is the way I would go uh, I've got almost everything on I've switched field stones off because of the cost because of how expensive it is to buy all of your equipment to buy that piece of equipment on top of everything else would have been a real crippler so I've switched that off and I've been slightly kind to myself on that one thing. I've got everything else on, lime, weeds, periodic plowing is off. I've still got to plow. I did potatoes last year so I still needed to plow after the potatoes. So that kind of plowing is on but periodic plowing for the sake of plowing is off. Dirt, I've been kind to myself, it's slow. Although I say that and I've got to be honest, it's almost like it's on exceptionally fast because I'll fix a tractor which cost me two grand and then the next day I don't do very much and I need to spend another two grand on it so that is absolutely 
eating me out of house and home money wise uh, we've been surviving on contracts as well uh, fuel usage is low that is I've been counting myself on that but everything else that's important is on really sort of good so I'm quite pleased with my progress truthfully I've, my balance is bad I'm not going to say what I would have said because that would spoil spoiler alert on how well we have done I'm not doing badly for equipment I will say that um, we have had a few good sales through the um, year and a bit that we've been on the uh, on the map and I'm quite pleased with that it could have been an awful lot worse so not got I've already got the one field I did want to at least have two but to say due to the setup of the game it is very challenging I mean I love start from scratch on uh, FS19 and this is a challenge I've got to be honest I, as I was um, halfway through the year last year I thought you must be mad the first year's harvest you will see I mean I will say a little bit it's, it's sort of a spoiler but sort of not due to the cost of workers the cost of hiring the potato harvest I went for small as well I didn't go big I went for the smallest one that you can do the fields are bugged out slightly and the AI workers didn't harvest properly there were a lot quite a few single lines of so I reckon there's probably at least 10,000 10 tons of spuds in there but it was it was the cost of the equipment I got additional higher costs that was 10 grand and then I got an additional hire of seven grand when I was trying to get up these extra lines and I thought Do you know I'm only gonna make 20 20 grand ish on the, the entire crop if I wait any longer I'm gonna make an, a loss and to be honest I did make a loss I think wages were about seven grand as well so that's 17 24 thousand and I made 22 grand on the spot so all it did was put some money back in the bank definitely in the red which was a lousy absolute lousy start survived say I've done contracts so that is pretty much where we are at so after a, it was a learning curve though I mean I don't class it as a an absolute failure it was on paper I mean the price was the best potatoes can get it was at the highest I sold it in the best month and still only made literally broke even in a way but because of the wages cost and it is hard to do taters manually with this how small the the harvest ahead is on that so yeah I mean it was but it did put the money back in the bank and it did teach me a lot the game the calendar the way everything works it was definitely worthwhile say so equipment now we are actually that's the biggest thing isn't it you keep spending on equipment and then the bank loan kept on hitting me and equipment costs all the time obviously the cost of fertilizer all of the things base game prices it's tough it really is tough I mean you can make money but it's not it isn't easy to make money there's no mods I'm seriously missing my container mod <laughs> seriously missing that uh, and the reasonable rates for fertilizer and um, herbicide is is killing me on the mates game but we're still still making a profit and still not doing badly so I'm not gonna make too much I'm, I'm enjoying it it is good it's a beautiful map uh, Hall Bailey Ra. definitely beautiful map I've, I've literally show the map to its full potential as well we have gone from one corner I think we've yeah we have we've gone literally all four corners of the map we have covered on this so yeah I'm, I'm quite chuffed I'm beginning to know where most of the fields are because of the contracts I've done because of how expensive wages are I have done a lot of this work manually which is that's new to me I'm, I'm a terror for course playing of course and if you've watched my Lone Oak series I literally use course play a lot I manage more than I well, there are obviously there are a lot of jobs that you can't work, manage. You've got to do yourself a lot, lot of things. All the bailing can be is possible in under course play, not like AI workers in the base game. So I do as much as I can, but there's an awful lot of jobs you still have to do, and you're still managing lots of workers. That is difficult in itself. I often had three or four workers in the fields with course play, two mowing, one bailing, one. So yeah, that you need to manage at that point. You you can't. I mean, I did. You do work at times, but it's. I think it's just as important to manage your team. I, I truly think it's about teamwork, which for the first year we only had one tractor on this game, so teamwork was not really possible. We, and according vehicles was killing me. I could see the money going down and down and down. Uh, and I needed this piece of equipment so it went down a bit more and, and then the contracts put it up and then the loan knocked it down again it's, it has been a real curveball but I have thoroughly enjoyed it and I'm, although I did think I was absolutely nuts for doing a start from scratch um, to try to learn this game I still think I've learnt a lot and I think 
I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, so I've tried to time match the, the night so it's not too uncomfortable. I'm not going to waffle on too much more. I think we've covered most things. I truly think uh, I just wanted to literally say hello uh, and engage with you, the watchers. Uh, and it is a fantastic map, and there's some lovely footage. I've tried to keep the content flowing well without out, out too many painful pauses. I've tried to go from one task to another without horrible laggy bits in the middle. Uh, obviously there's always tiny bits, you can't help it uh, completely. Uh, the nights, on a couple I've started the night at 1.20 and then at 2 o'clock in the morning I've decided right I'm going to do something because I don't want uh, so I've not time lapsed those but the ones where I just see the night through I literally time lapse those until the morning so it literally takes one minute of you watching it for you to see the night go because I just don't want it to be terribly boring with you just watching a screen so I've tried to keep the flow of the content uh, active to keep everybody interested and that is me just literally saying hello and signing out and I really do hope that you uh, enjoy the content um, welcome to Hall Belleron goodbye for now <laughs>